Icon sets in Excel are ready to use formatting options that add various icons to cells such as arrows, shapes, check marks, flags, etc. to visually show how cell values in a range are compared to each other. An icon set contains 3 to 5 icons. Consequently, the cell values in a formatted range are divided into 3 to 5 groups from high to low. For example, apply an icon set to the sales column to compare the sale values of various products. Select the range of cells. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting. Select icon sets and select the icon type you want. For example, select 3 traffic lights. The icons will appear in the selected cells based on the value. You can change the default behavior and define your own criteria. Customize icon sets. If you don't like the way Excel has interpreted and highlighted the data, you can easily customize the applied icon set. Select any cell conditionally formatted with the icon set. Click on conditional formatting and select manage rules. Select the rule and click on edit rule. By default, a 3 icon set uses one icon for values greater than or equal to 67%, another icon for values between 67% and 33%, and another icon for values lower than 33%. In the Edit Formatting Rule dialog box, you can choose other icons and assign them to different values. To select another icon, click on the drop down button and you will see a list of all icons available for conditional formatting. Select the green check mark and enter 50 for values greater than or equal to 50%. Select yellow flag and enter 25 for the values less than 50% and greater than or equal to 25%. Select red cross for values less than 25%. Click on OK. Click on Apply to apply the rule. Reverse icon order. You can double click on the rule to open the edit formatting rule window. To reverse icon order, click on reverse icon order button. The order of icons is reversed. Click on OK and apply to apply the icons in reverse order. To hide cell values and show only icons, select the show icon only checkbox. Click on OK. Click on OK to apply the rule and close the window. All the values are hidden and only icons are displayed. In Excel, there are four different kinds of icon sets. Directional, Shapes, Indicators and Ratings. When creating new rule, you can use any icon from any set and assign any value to it. To create a custom icon set, select the range of cells where you want to apply the icons. Click on Conditional Formatting and select Icon Sets and then More Rules. New formatting rule dialog box opens. Here you can select the desired icons. In the type drop down box, select percentage, number or formula and type the corresponding values in the value boxes. For example, create a three flag icon set. For sales greater than or equal to 5000, select green flag in the first drop down. In the type drop down, select number and enter 5000 in the value box. For sales greater than or equal to 3000 and less than 5000, select yellow flag in the second drop down. In the type drop down, select number and enter 3000 in the value box. For sales less than 3000, select red flag in the last drop down. Click on OK. The icons are displayed in the selected cells based on the values. Set conditions based on another cell value. Instead of hard coding the criteria in a rule, you can input each condition in separate cells and then refer to those cells. For example, enter the values in H2 and H3. Click on any formatted cell and click on conditional formatting. Select manage rules. Select the rule and click on edit rule. Select formula in the type drop down. In the value box, enter the cell address preceded with the equal sign. Select formula in the second drop down. To enter the cell address, you can also place the cursor in the box and click on the cell in the sheet. Click on OK and OK again. Now to change the conditions, just change the values and the icons change based on the values. Change 5000 to 6000, the icons change based on that value. Icon sets based on a formula. 
to have the conditions calculated automatically by Excel, use a formula. Select the cells and open the New Formatting Rule window. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, in the Type drop-down, select Formula and enter the formula in the value box. For a value greater than or equal to max value minus 300, use this formula. In the next drop-down, select Formula. For values greater than or equal to min value plus 300 and less than max value minus 300, use this formula. Click on OK. Icons are displayed based on the conditions set using the formula. Use conditional format icon set to compare values in two columns. When comparing two columns, conditional formatting icon sets such as colored arrows can give you an excellent visual representation of the comparison. We have sales of the products for February and March in columns B and C. Calculate the change in sales in column D using this formula. Display a up arrow if the change is positive, down arrow if the change is negative, and a horizontal arrow if the change is zero. Select the values in column D. Open new formatting rule. Select green up arrow in the first drop-down. Select number in the type drop-down. Select greater than and enter zero for the first value. Select yellow right arrow in the second drop-down. Select number in the type drop-down. Select greater than or equal to and enter zero for the second value. Select red down arrow. When value is less than zero, click on OK. Yellow arrow for no change, green arrow for positive change, and red arrow for negative change are displayed. To show only the icons without percentages, check the Show Icon Only checkbox in the Edit Rule type. Click on OK and OK again. Only icons are displayed and the numbers are hidden. Apply icon sets based on another cell. Technically, conditional formatting icon sets can only be used to format cells based on their own values. By using a formula in the column, we can apply a conditional format icon set based on another cell. We have ship dates in column E. We want to insert a green flag in the shipped column when there is a value in the ship date column. Enter this formula in F2. Copy the formula down. This formula returns 3 if E2 is not empty, else 1. Select the cells in column F and create a new custom icon set rule. In the format new rule window, set these values. Select number in the type dropdown. Select green flag in the dropdown. Enter 3 in the value box, select number in the drop-down, select yellow flag when the number is greater than 2. Since we have only 3 or 1 in the shipped column, this condition will never be met and yellow flag is not displayed. Select red flag when the value is less than 2. Click on OK. Green and red flags are displayed accordingly. Show icons for only some values. The icons look good, but sometimes you may find the icons too crowded on the sheet. The solution is to show icons only for some items. For example, show icons for only sales greater than or equal to 500. Create a new formatting rule. Select the cells where the icon set is applied. Click on conditional formatting and select new rule. Select format only cells that contain. Select cells value in the first drop-down and less than in the second drop-down and enter 500 in the text box. Click on OK without setting any format. Now click on conditional formatting and select manage rules. The less than rule should be on the top. Select the less than rule and click on the up arrow to move the rule to the top. Check the stop if true checkbox next to the rule. Click on OK. For values less than 500, the first rule is applied and stops there. Icon set rule is not applied. So icons are shown for values equal to or greater than 500. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.